On the same card, a young George Rush St. Pierre begins his ascension through the ranks as he challenges Justin Bruckman for the TKO Walter Wade title. Well, St. Pierre and, and Bruckman, this is going to be one hell of a fight. St. Pierre, unbelievable athlete, strong guy, and well-rounded fighter. Yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be a grappling match. You got George St. Pierre, who is uh, known for his uh, jiu-jitsu abilities, and uh, Justin Loaf Bruckman, coming from Shaw Franco's team, you know, purple belt under Silvio Baring. Great, great fighter here. All right, but here George we go. St. Pierre right is such an athlete. Yeah, here we go. Just like you said, right away, down to the ground. Both of these guys uh, are going to show their grappling skills. You know, uh, Loaf is also, you know, a very, very strong judo fighter. I mean, his main sport is judo, and he's, you know, he's converted over to the jiu-jitsu fighting, but he's put both of them together extremely well. Um, if they had a gi on, my money would definitely be on Bruckman, but without the gi, you got to look to George St. Pierre with his wrestling abilities, his Kyokushin karate background, and his extremely impressive athleticism. Yeah, you know, and George is taking his time here. Uh, you know, Bruckman's showing a, a very strong guard. George is a strong guy, and he's good at passing, but uh, you can see he's really making him work for it. Yeah, I mean, I've rolled with Justin before, and he is just, he's real slick on the ground. His sweeps are real solid, and uh, he really, uh, he really knows the ground game like nobody's business. Yeah, that was a beautiful pass by St. Pierre. Now he's in side control and very, very heavy in side control. You know what? And it wasn't the most talented pass. He just muscles his way through anything because he's just such an incredible athlete. It's not even funny. Oh, he's working. Looks like he's working for the strikes. He from this position, you think he should secure more of a, of a flat chest to chest, or he, or he can ride the way he's doing it? Ideally, you would want to, you know, basically secure a nice chest to chest. But like I'm saying, George is such a freaky athlete that he can pretty much do anything from any position. This kid has got uh, athletic ability that like I've never seen before. And I've, you know, I've played football with some top-notch athletes. I've been in the ring with some top-notch athletes. But this guy here, just he blows everybody away. And you know, he's staying busy. He gets on the side. He's working the elbows. He's working little punches. He's doing everything he can to maintain that position, but at the same time, stay busy enough that they don't get stood up again. No, he's, George, is, uh, George is really something else. I mean, this kid does not get tired. Oh, and uh, right away into the mount. Beautiful, nice transition. He doesn't get overpowered. He's, you know, and he's got a great, great wrestling background, so he's got a good base. He knows how to stay low. He knows how to use his power to his advantage. You know, he's taking his time. He's really patient, you know. Look, he goes right from the top. Nice stand-up by Bruckman. But look at George is all over him still. You know George has not let him go. He has not stopped the uh, has not stopped the attack for one minute here. Yeah, you know what? Once he he, he latches onto, he's like a leech. The guy latches onto you. There's no letting go. I mean, he just keeps pushing the pushing the action, tiring Justin Bruckman out. But Bruckman's doing a great job body locking uh, George. You know, Justin's not the champion. Nothing. You know, look at that. Look at the athleticism and the balance that George St. Pierre has. Yeah, that was a beautiful defense against a takedown. I mean, on any lesser athlete, that was a takedown. Look at that. That wasn't even a takedown. That was like, that was bitch, power. get down. That was power. He's like, look, I'm fed up with playing with you. Lie down. You know what? It's unbelievable. You know, at St. Pierre, the game he's playing would tire anyone else out in, in a couple of seconds. I mean, he's really forcing this guy to the ground and keeping him there. But George doesn't show any signs of fatiguing at all. Man, I'm tired just watching him. I'm tired talking about it. You know, he keeps landing those short little elbows. He's keeping just busy enough. He's real aggressive, and, you know, he's racking up the points. I mean, hey, man, he's a new kid on the block. He's a crowd favorite. He's in his hometown, and he's laying into this guy like nobody's business. Oh, now he's starting to land some huge shots from the cross uh, body position. You know, it just, this is something else. I mean, this is some beating he's putting on him. This oh, he's got the him. full mount. Justin Bruckman needs to do something to get out of here now because he's just covering up and like hoping for the best of it. George is looking for the arm bar. No, Justin needs to roll out of this shit. As soon as that arm gets loose, he needs to roll the opposite way and get out of there. His arm is locked out. Justin is Bruckman it. just taps. That is it. St. Pierre wins with a beautiful arm bar. The jiu-jitsu fighter got beat at his own game. You know what, St. Pierre showed athleticism, he showed power, he showed conditioning, and he showed great submission work. I expect some real great things coming from this guy because he's a, you know, he's a complete gentleman. He's young. He's enthusiastic. 
And he, I mean, he's got work ethic like nobody's business, and he just proved that he can beat some of the best Walter Waits out there. Yeah, you know, we just saw George St. Pierre's ground game. We saw his ability to clinch, some takedowns, and we saw tremendous power from him. It's going to be interesting to see also what his stand-up game is like. You know, he's, a Kyukushin ba he's got a Kyukushin background, I mean, low-kick karate style. I mean, this guy can blast kicks like nobody's business. I mean, he's working on his boxing, he's constantly in the gym, he's always wrestling, he's, you know, trying to improve his jiu-jitsu day in and day out. And I mean, this guy will train with anybody, anywhere. He just loves the sport. He's got, uh, you know, great love on life, and he just does does his thing, man. He's just having fun out there, and that's what counts. Yeah, well, you know, St. Pierre with a, tr uh, a very impressive victory, a uh, beautiful submission over a very tough su uh, submission fighter. And, uh, you know, there's uh, I think this is a sign of great things to come. I mean, I don't think there, I don't think there's any limits to what uh, George St. Pierre can do that. The welterweight division is stacked, but I think this guy can climb his way right to the top without any interference at all. Yeah, you know, definitely. George St. Pierre is the future of the welterweight division. I agree, Sean, I agree. Seen there with uh, Stefan Petri, the president of TKO.